Welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, March 16, 2021. If you like support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. So Bitcoin did break its all-time highs above 60K, and then it fell. At the moment, we're at 50, uh, 56K, and we went all the way down to 54K uh, when it was its lowest today. And then we uh, rallied a little bit back. At this current age, it could actually fall towards the middle of the bullish band. It's at uh, 51K or towards the 50 moving average at 46K at, at this current stage. So this is a fairly big pullback. So, uh, so people were basically waiting here at 60K and then just started selling this. It doesn't mean like we're going to have a complete collapse. In the we have had a massive pullback here, a massive pullback here, and we could see an additional one here when we fall all the way down to the 50 moving average. Technically, the years for Bitcoin have all turned around, so it is more likely that we are going to see that instead of uh, rallying above 60K to 65 or 70K. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum as well, we rallied up towards the top of the bullish band, which was nearly the uh, highs over here. And then we just fell apart towards the, 200, the 20 exponential moving average at, um, at the 1714. Technical indicators are turning around, so this could break towards the 50. And if the 50 breaks, we could see a complete tidal wave all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band at 1432. So... At this current stage, this looks like we are about to turn around here or it will trade sideways. If we manage to take out these previous highs, then we'll go to these highs of 2014. However, I would not bet the range on that when considering that these technical indicators are all turning bearish. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano keeps falling. It has a gradual grind towards the lower part of the bullish band or the 50 moving average. The 50 moving average will probably offer, uh, will be really interesting for a lot of buyers to enter here. That is at uh, 0 0.85. Uh, Technical indicators, some of them are turning around, while the other ones are still very bearish. MACD is bearish, CCI is bearish, uh, the RSI is bearish, and the stochastic has crossed the signal line indicating bullish momentum. So, um, yes, at this current stage, this is in a, in a massive pullback, still in an uptrend, but still a major pullback. And at this current stage, we could test the lower part of bullish band or even the 50 moving average. So, when we, when we uh, do test those, it'll probably uh, rally from that point because a break of the 50 moving average, well, that will send this a lot, lot lower. So let's look at Litecoin, which got hammered today. So together with uh, the other big cryptocurrencies, this also got really hammered. So we didn't get close to the previous highs here of that 200 and... Uh, and uh, and 45 we did go outside of the bullish band and then broke down roughly around nine percent fall today technical indicators are very bearish for this cryptocurrency so a break up the 20 exponential could open the door to the 50 at 179 and then all the way down to the lower part of bullish band at 153 so at this current stage in the past the 20 and the 50 have offered quite a lot of support so it's not even though we have this breakdown today it's not doesn't mean that we'll have a complete collapse in this market we did collapse here uh, give or take 25 uh, percent and still we managed to rally again but we did not rally to the very highs technical indicators are looking dreadful so there's not a lot of momentum to the upside in this cryptocurrency so let's look at neo So NEO is uh, looking uh, really dead at this, uh, at this current stage. There is not a lot of movement. We had this massive rally uh, back in the beginning of February when all the other cryptocurrency rallied, and then it just 
completely collapsed to the downside. Since then, we have gradually grinded upwards and now we're grinding sideways. Taking the indicators are looking dreadful, so this could break towards the 50 moving average at roughly a 33. A break below the 50 opens the door, the door to 30 and then all the way down to the 200 moving average at $22 break above these previous highs that could send this higher but uh, as long as the other major cryptocurrencies are not rallying don't expect this to rally either so let's look at dash so dash is so basically the same graph so it also had this rally in february broke down and then has just traded sideways it uh, was one of the biggest movers in uh, in the beginning of uh, February and um, yes yeah, since then it has lost nearly half of its value and uh, and um, has just stayed here in this uh, small range we did manage to break about the, the move uh, the top of the bullish band and then broke heavily towards the middle and if we break the middle then we go all the way down to the 50 moving average at 188 Taking the indication, they are all turning around. So momentum is still to the downside for this cryptocurrency. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new series, and you're welcome to join us on our Patreon. Good luck and thank you very much.